All right, so far you have learned quite a lot of things and it is a very high time to practice all those things that you have learned by accepting a challenge. Now, before even explaining the challenge, I want you to remind again what are the things you have learned recently. You have learned the variable declaration, so you know how to declare the variable. You have learned how to initialize the variable, how to give any value to variable. You have learned how to do the dynamic initialization, which basically means declaring and assigning the value at the same time. And also you have learned what are the best practices that you should follow when you are naming the variables, which means the naming conventions. You also know about the basic data type like integer, float, double and character. You also know how to print the variables with the help of format specifier. For an example, person D for integer, person F for float, person C for character and then person LF for double. Now let's go to the uh, assignment or let's go to the challenge more specifically here. So my date of birth I have written here which is 12th, the day is 12th and then month is March and then year is 1990. Now what do I want you to do? I want you to define three variables where you're going to store the day, month and year. And then you have to give an output like this. So output needs to be just exactly just like this. So day equal 12, month equal 3 and then year equal 1990. As you can see the output here. So you can use any date of birth, doesn't matter. But whenever you're going to give the output, remember it has to be just like this. So day equal uh, and then the value of the day from there and then month equal the value of the month from there and then same goes for you, year. But remember, you have to define three variables where you're going to follow the naming convention or the best practices for sure. Now you can take a pause here, take some time and try to give your best shot to finish this challenge. I'm sure you can do this. You have this confidence uh, because you have done already quite a lot of good things already. You have understood everything. That's what I'm expecting. And if you have understood whatever I have taught already, I'm sure you can do this without any doubt. So let's accept this challenge and do this. If you cannot, you can take some uh, moment here and then come back. I will show you how to finish this challenge anyway. All right, I think you have done your best and you have already solved this problem. So let me just create a new file here. I'm going to say challenge2.c where I'm going to finish this challenge by myself and you can just follow me right now. So here I need the best practices. Let me create the best, uh, sorry, I need the basic structure. So let me create the basic structure real quick. I'm going to use integer main. That's the best uh, basic structure. And then I'm going to say return zero. There you go. Now, first thing first, what I was asking you to create three, three variables where you can store the day, month and year. So let's do that. I'm going to create three variables. So I'm just targeting for the integer values. That's why I'm going to use three variables just like this integer. Then I can say day, then I can say month, the next variable and the final one I need, I can define as a year here. So let me do that real quick. There you go. I have defined three variables. So first task is done. Now I have to assign some value to these variables and then I have to print them. So what you can do, you can assign at the same time, but I'm assigning it here. It's up to you how you want to do this. So 12 is the day I want to assign then for the month and then year. I'm going to just change the name of the variable here real quick. Let me just use month and then let me just use the year variable here. For the month, the value is going to be 3 as I told you already because my date of birth 12, 3, 1990, just like this. Let me show you here. 12, 3, 1990. That's how my date of birth look like. Now I'm going to print them here. It's the right time to print, but before even doing that, I need to fix the year. It's going to be 1990 and now let me print them here. So printf, I told you to print them separately, just like this day, month and year. So this is the structure you got to follow and I'm sure you have follow. I need to print the day variable. In this case, it's an integer, so I have to use person D. Then I'm going to print a new line. That's what was expected in the output. As you can see, all of them are separated into three lines. So that's why we need to do exact the same thing. Okay, day here. And I'm going to copy paste. I will change the value here, month and year as well. So let me do that. This one will be month and this one will be month variable as well. So there you go. I have made the change in both places. Same goes for this one. I'm just selecting option or here for the uh, Mac computer. But if you have any other operating system, I'm sure you'll fix this and you know how to do this. 
uh, this editing at the same time but if you cannot do that then just do it manually all right great so far so good i want to run this one and let's see what happened if i run this day 12 month 3 and year 1990 that's all so far so good it's working brilliantly but as I said, you could declare the variable here. There was nothing wrong. Uh, you could initialize the variable here. So month three, and then you can say 1990, which is completely fine with me. And also you could do one more thing. There are many ways to declare variables. All of them are integer variables. So what you could do here, you could say day variable here, and then you could define the month variable here. And finally, you could define the year variable here at the same line because all of them are integer. So let me just remove this one. What is happening here? I'm declaring three variables and their data type is integer. So you can also do like this. All right, I hope you got the idea. Now let me make this one a little bit more interesting. What do I want you to do now? So here you can see I have this day and month here, everything that we are trying to print. I want to print you to like everything in one line this time. So I want you to do something like this month and then here everything needs to be print out in the same line that's what i'm expecting this time i'm sure you can do this let's give it a try you can pause again and you can try again if you cannot do it you can follow me of course i'm going to do the same thing right i'm sure you have tried it and also you finished this problem as well so what we are trying to do at this time we want to print everything in one single line so you can use one printf or you can use multiple printf doesn't matter so if i use multiple printf in this case after printing the day what i was expecting you to print the comma here so i can do that i can add a comma and then after adding the comma we are going to the next printf where we are printing the month then this person d will print the variable month and then you can instead of this new line you can add this comma again so it will go to the next printf and it will try to print the year and after the year printing you can just add a new line there is nothing wrong let me run this program and let's see what happened so i'm expecting everything will be printed in the same line and it's happening here by the way i could add more space to make things a little bit better let me do that and there you go so everything as i expected is printed here now what about printing everything in one printf can you do that can you give a pause and can you give a try i think you have already done that if you have not then you can give a pause and you can try otherwise i'm going to do that anyway so if i use one printf in this case well of course i can do that i will just cut from here or copy from here i'll paste it here and i will copy from here and i'm going to paste it here and let me just take out these two printfs. I'm going to use one single printf to print everything, which is completely possible. So first, we are printing day, so it will show day here. Then this assignment operator we are printing, so it will be printed. And then instead of person %d, what is the first thing after the double quotation you have? Which is the variable you have that needs to be printed? So it's day. So this person %d will print the day then this comma will be printed month will be printed assignment operator will be printed but format specifier they will be never printed so their task is to print any variable now do you have any variable after day no so what are we going to do we are going to add the uh, second variable that we want to print and then it will go like this it will print the year then person d is not going to be printed it will try to print a variable which variable you want to print you can tell the variable name here after this month variable so right now we have three person D and this three person D basically referring first person D referring the day variable, second one month and third one is the year. So here orders matters a lot. Remember this one. So first person D is going to print the day. Second person D is going to print the month variable and the, and the third person D is going to print the year variable. That's how it's going to work. So I hope you have learned a lot in this lesson. Now let me try and running this again and you'll see the same output we have just like before. That's all for this video.